guys, it's Nick here and the inspiration for today's video comes from a conversation that I was having with John Aitken from uh, John Bahia on Twitter a couple of weeks ago when he asked me what I thought of the label Disabled and um, I thought that I would make a video on that topic so thank you John for inspiring me to make this video. I'll put a link to John's Twitter and to John's YouTube channel in the description box so do go and check him out because he is a really funny guy and he's also really really nice so do go and check him out. So I... the label disabled, um, it seems to be one that sort of causes um, varying degrees of opinion. My opinion of, a, of the word disabled um, is is probably slightly different. The thing is, I I admit that I am disabled because I am. But the thing is, I'm disabled, but I don't choose to be handicapped by my disability. If somebody says, "Oh, she can't do this because she's disabled," I'm like, "Well, actually, I'm going to do it anyway, or I'm going to do it my own version or to my own standards." To me, disabled is just a word. I don't necessarily think of it as a bad thing, like. Yeah, I'm disabled, but I personally don't consider the fact that I am disabled to be a bad thing and and therefore I don't consider people calling me disabled a bad thing. I am, in a way, I am in control of just how much I let my disability handicap me. Because yeah, there are certain things I can't do, certain things that are difficult, but and some things I might never be able to do, but most of the time there's a way to find another version. So I can actually choose to override the word disabled in a lot of circumstances if I want to. And to me, the word disabled just makes it a bit easier for people to understand, like, things when, like, categorise things when you're talking. But if I want in my personal life as a person, I can choose to override that and not let the disability get in the way of me doing things. So if anything, I think the word disabled in a lot of ways, and I think I sort of came to this realisation while I was tweeting John, so I sort of owe John um, massively for this one, is that it's a label that sort of challenges me to defy it in a way, because the amount of times I hear, oh, a disabled person can't do that, or this is so hard for disabled people, or, you know, we shouldn't say the word disabled, or whatever, I can choose to defy that label like just because you you tell me I'm disabled at one thing or I can't do one thing because of a disability I can then go out and do it and that makes me more determined to prove you wrong that I can do something disability or no disability and a lot of people do attach this thing to disability whereas they think it automatically means people can't do rather than people can do just maybe not as easily so I actually find the term disabled really motivates me because I am because people are so assume such negative things come from the label disabled it makes me want to go out and do all of these positive things to prove to people that disability isn't negative or that disability doesn't need to define it's a descriptive word sure but it doesn't need to define a person a person is lots of things a person is not just a disability therefore I think the word disabled is empowering and not everybody might think that but I do